Pat Riley has finally broken his silence after an offseason long just hiatus on doing anything in the media. He finally has spoken, and in doing so, he's applied a bit of pressure to this Miami Heat team. We'll break down all of the quotes and information on this episode of Heat Digest, but before we get to that, remember to subscribe to the channel if you're a part of this 82.5% that is currently not subscribed. We do appreciate all the love and support, so thank you guys for that. But now let's get to it and break down all the news on how Pat Riley has applied some pressure to this Miami Heat team. Again, in the first time actually being vocal, it seems like, in the last three months. Obviously, throughout the entire offseason, the Miami Heat fan base was just looking and questioning, where is Pat Riley? Are we going to make any moves this offseason, bring in any new talent, make any trades? Are we just going to do anything outside of the draft, which I think we absolutely did a phenomenal job with drafting Kalel Ware, Pella Larson, and then the bunch of undrafted guys we brought in, as well as the guys currently on Exhibit 10 contracts, not only through the summer league camps, but as well as through the NBA preseason, especially last night in our 114-109 to victory over the Memphis Grizzlies, where we saw basically that summer league roster play with plus or minus a few NBA guys, and we won against an NBA team with Job ja Morant and other starters for the Memphis Grizzlies. So overall, a great performance. And again, this Miami Heat team is built very, very well. So we can't really crack on Riley that much going into the season after looking this good through five games. But again, we'll break down the quotes from Pat Riley from this article from Anthony Chang titled, Pat Riley addresses state of the heat, Jimmy Butler situation, and more ahead of crucial season. Now, there's a few quotes in this article that are just of basically a bombshell and we're going to start with this one as pat Riley goes on to say and i quote six years yeah this is a telling year for the team it should be heat president pat Riley said thursday during an intimate sit-down interview with a small group of reporters in his office overlooking biscayne bay ahead of wednesday's regular season opener against the orlando magic at the Kaseya center going on to say and i quote They've been together for six years. The core has been together for six years, and they've all gotten better. And going on to continue to say, everything changes, I think, for the better with com continuity and the fact that we believe in this roster. Does it mean that if we don't win this year or if we don't go out or don't go deep this year that where there's going to be massive changes? No, it doesn't mean that. But they should know that this is a crucial year for them that they want to win. They've been to the NBA Finals twice, but they want to win. And again, that's the end of the quote from Pat Riley. A lot there, but again, the idea that he's emphasizing the fact that it has now been six full years for this Miami Heat team playing together, and obviously they want to win. Let's put everything together. Let's be available, and let's win. Because obviously, as we all know, Pat Riley wants to win, and there's no real way around it. He, he wants to win every single year that they play basketball, which again, year after year, he wants to win. There's no other way around it. And again, that's what we want leading this team. Obviously, we can question the moves and the lack of moves made during the offseason and just the lack of just being vocal, just being in the media, saying something to confirm and really comfort the fans who are asking all these massive questions about the state of this Miami Heat team, state of these star players on the Miami Heat team like Jimmy Butler and the contract situation, to finally get this answer because we haven't heard really from Pat Riley all offseason. We had a few different things go on. Bam Adebayo got the contract extension, which he obviously deserved, which I would have waited if I were him because this up and coming year, he may win an award or two and he may be eligible. He may have then been eligible for a super max contract of 300 plus million. Again, just an opinion. Second idea was Alec Burks, the bringing in of Alec Burks, which again, he's going to be a good piece for this Miami Heat team. Is he really going to push the needle for this Miami Heat team in big games against really, really good teams? I don't know if I'm confident enough in his abilities with this Miami Heat team and really his role overall to say that. But again, he is going to have great ability on this Heat team because he's going to just be asked to do a specific job and be good at that job. And if he's able to do that, he's going to look fantastic. Shout out to Eric Spolstra again for being the best coach in the league. But Again, besides that, and then the postseason press conference we got the immediately after we were bounced from the first round of the playoffs in five games to the Boston Celtics, where he had all of those massive quotes about Jimmy Butler going forward, the rest of this team going forward, what the plans were with Bam Adebayo and possibly going into the draft, and just really breaking down how all of last season went. Besides those two little, con the contract with Bam and again, Alec Burks being brought in, we hadn't really heard from uh, Pat Riley. And because of that, 
It was just the questions were starting to brew, and we really needed some answers, and we got a lot of them here. So shout out to uh, Pat Riley, for, Pat Riley, for actually answering some questions. I will say, going into last night's game against the Memphis Grizzlies, no one on this screen played, and that's basically all of the majority of the players. If you look at our depth chart as of right now. Every single player basically is listed as uh, day-to-day, and that's not because of injury. It is simply due to rest as we had our fifth and final game of the NBA preseason against the Memphis Grizzlies like we brought up earlier. And again, they these guys did not travel to Memphis specifically for rest reasons. No one is injured that we know of, at least based off of what's been listed, and no one is injured listed on this report. They're simply just dealing with rest. Even Josh uh, Richardson seems like he is ready to go and start this NBA season for this Miami Heat team, which is going to be absolutely massive. I didn't think we were going to get him back for another week or two because at the last report I had seen, he was still dealing with rehabilitation in that right shoulder when it dislocated months ago back in January or February against those Boston Celtics. So again, it's going to be huge to have him back. And honestly, let's have some faith in this team. And that's what Pat Riley goes on to say here. Shout out to NBA Central on Twitter. As they go on to say, Pat Riley says he wasn't ready to give up on this Miami Heat roster, even though they were a play-in team last season. Going on to say, and I quote, I wasn't comfortable in just saying, okay, I I was going to give up on this team because they were a play-in team. If you get in, you get in, and then you go from there. Two years ago was an anomaly, and we ended up in the finals. I'll take the anomaly any day, but we need to have a very, but we do have a very good team. And that's the end of the quote from Pat Riley. Again, this one is not applying as much pressure as that first one. I think he was really emphasizing the fact that, hey, it's been six years. Let's get the ball rolling. We got things to do. We got championships to win. The windows now, if we don't win now, we're not going to win. This one is just praising the fact that, hey, last season, we didn't win the NBA title, obviously. We didn't even make it to the conference finals. But if you look in the last five years, six years for this Miami Heat team, we've been wildly successful. 2019, 2020, We lost in the finals. And then the year after that, we went to the first round. Obviously, that's not great. But again, you make the playoffs. That is significant, especially when the competition, not only in the entirety of the league. I know the West dominated for the last decade or so in the sense of overall talent. That's not the case anymore. The East is equally as good and has been that way for a handful of years now. The year following, lost in the first round, like I said. Then we went to the conference finals. And then two years ago, we lost in the actual NBA Finals again. So two finals appearances in four years, made it to the playoffs all of the last five years. We're a good team. We compete year after year, and because of that, we have to respect the roster that Pat Riley has the confidence in that we're going into this season with. So I can't wait to see how this plays out. I'm really, really excited. And if this preseason has anything or any correlation and any preview or foreshadowing into how this regular season is going to go for this Miami team, I'm extremely, extremely excited because of the defense we are going to play, not only individually, but just as a team overall. I think we are going to excel team on team defensive sides of things. And 15 or four straight games with 15 steals in a preseason game that is phenomenal I don't care if it's preseason or not these guys are playing starter minutes the whole roster is playing you're playing against other starters and because of that this means something and I think it's really going to translate for this Miami Heat team so I can't wait till they start the season you guys will see me on the next episode of Heat Digest thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one